my name is David JP Phillips and I am a public speaker and I am here to give you knowledge, skills and gain growth in public speaking and communication and today I have chosen a person who is so close to my heart, I loved him. Steve Jobs. He was in a league of its own when it came to product presentations and we are about to watch one of my absolute favorites which is the launch of the MacBook Air which is a mind-blowing performance. First of all just listen to the first sentence. There's something in the air. There's something in the air and he says it with such a timber and emphasis. Apple makes the best notebooks on the planet. The MacBook. That is a bold statement. You can get away with saying almost absolutely anything if you truly believe in it yourself. If you don't believe in it, you won't get away with anything. These, the Sony TZ series, they're good notebooks. And they're, they're good notebooks. Giving a compliment to a competitor is an incredibly smart thing to do because it shows that you are humble, that you've looked at them, you understand them, and you accept that they're good at what they're doing. If he had said, uh, we had a look at this one, and <laughs> this one isn't very good, that would have immediately lost him points in credibility and likability. They're thin, right? This is what they look like. Side view there. We looked at all of them out there and kind of- All right, I've just got to compliment this voice. All right, the thing he's doing, he is showing so much confidence, it's practically oozing out of him. The way he's doing that is one, he's got a tremendously slow bass pace. And whenever we speak slowly, we clearly show that we're not going away. This is my show. Secondly, he's pausing over and over and over over again long beautiful pauses and again that indicates exactly the same thing i am here to stay this is my show and you're here to listen third thing it's got a fairly low register it's associated with people with high credibility tried to distill the best of the breed of, of all of them and you know they generally weigh about three pounds there are in this case the powerpoint is to die for oh my god this is i don't know is this 10 or 15 years ago but the PowerPoint was even then, compared to PowerPoints that are produced today by companies, this kicks ass. Oh. The Sony's case, they're about 0 0.8 inches to 1.2 inches thin. They're wedge shape. It's quite representative. They compromise though, to get the weight down beautiful procedure. Procedure means that whatever you're saying, you're saying with meaning, you're saying it with purpose. So obviously here he is not pleased with the compromise that they're doing. They're too thick and he really shows that with the procedure that he uses in his voice. Display. They have an 11 or 12 inch display, most of them an 11. They also compromise on the keyboard. And the pauses. You'd kill for that. Nine out of 10 people do filler sounds, which makes them seem like they don't know what they're talking about. This guy just owns it. The bass pace and the lack of filler sounds. Thin, it even fits inside one of these envelopes that we've all seen floating around the office. And so let me go ahead and show it to you now. He's obviously got a prop and an analogy to what you can put it in and he picks it up listen to the audience they're going insane why is how is it possible that this is 10 15 years ago why don't companies do product presentations like this it's not hard look at this this is the new mac <clears throat> he's so proud isn't he and you can get a feel for how thin it is yeah there it is all right. Now, what can we learn from this legend of product presentations? Well, we can learn this. This man practically oozed of ethos, which is credibility. And why did he do that? Well, he did so many things right in regards to that. Number one, his gestures were slow. Number two, his walking was slow. Number three, oh my God, his pauses, his language, his rhetoric was so strong. Number five, pace that he spoke and he took his time.
But ethos isn't everything in this world. My friends, you need logos. He's got loads of that. It makes sense, everything that he says. But the final one in the rhetorical triangle is pathos. Does he have pathos? Oh my God, he has pathos. This is what makes the difference. Because he's absolutely hungry to just tell everybody about this amazing product. You can see how he's steaming of love and passion for the MacBook Air. He's so proud. And that is, at the end of the day, that combination is what made him the legend that he became. Amazing product here. Full-size keyboard, full-size display. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that amazing?